Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. I just recorded this whole video and didn't realize I was muted. I love mornings. So today we're going to talk about two things. Uh, number one, we're going to talk about how I'm currently leveling to 100. Uh, but before we start that, I want to talk about budget options for Aegis Aurora, since Aegis Aurora is almost 20 divines, and it just keeps on going higher and higher and higher. Now, in next league, I will try my best to create uh, a better league start that is right before Aegis Aurora. I mean, I had no clue it was going to go to this high up, and I personally can always afford an Aegis. I realize everyone else cannot, but I'll try to make you guys a better league start that is meant to be without an Aegis Aurora, right? Uh, I've never personally made one like that, because even when I play SSF, I just play for a lot and brute force an Aegis and get lucky, right? But... I will be doing an SSF restart most likely after this character hits 100, and then you can see in detail kind of how I go about everything. But with that being said, let me talk about budget options for Aegis Aurora. So, part of what makes Aegis so strong is two things, three things, four things. Uh, number one, it has pretty good base armor and base energy shield, so this gives it the ability to scale really well with like the nodes over here on the tree. Uh, for increased energy shield, so you can see my Aegis is giving me just about a thousand ES, right? Second thing, um, you get five max cold res, which enables the melding setup, but we're ignoring that for this video, so that part is irrelevant. Then you get the replenish 2% of your armor when you block, which is incredibly strong since it scales with your armor. And that's about it, and then it comes with 10 all res. Um, also, it has very high base block chance at 32% base block, that 32% base block allows us to essentially not take the mastery for like 1% chance to, to, to block attack damage per 5% chance to block on shield. And we're still able to hit our block cap. Um, you can see our chance to block attack damage is what? 75%, 76. So no problem. All right. So what are your options if you don't have an Aegis Aurora? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw down a number of things. So number one, if you're in trade league, you can acquire a shield that looks like this. Um, which you can see this has a synthesized implicit of life gain on block. So if I check this right now on trade, I'm sure after this video it may disappear, but at the moment they're not even that expensive. They're 40 to 45 chaos and declining because I listed mine a few days ago and they were at a divine. So scoop them up, go take them, whatever you want. They're right there for you. 100 people can be happy. Now option number two, option number two is Shaper Shield. Now, um, the item level requirement for this is actually um, very low. It's 68. So, that's very low, right? Literally, any Shaper Shield you drop in a map can roll Recover Life on Block. Now, as for what else you want on a shield, there are a couple of ways to go about this. Naturally, getting any max res is extremely good, right? Getting things like reduced crit damage taken, which I think is one of the suffixes here, is very good. If you can manage to get this, like, socketed gems have increased reservation, that's, like, crazy as well. But, you know, we're not talking about min-maxing a shield. We're getting, we're talking about a shield just to, like, start, right? So, uh, I went over to Craft of Exile here, and I am honestly so terrible at using this, which is great because most of you guys probably are as well, so we can learn together, right? So, with Harvest sadly being Omega nerfed right now because they removed the, like, more likely roll, I'm gonna turn to Fossils. So, I believe when I was doing the calculation for this yesterday, it was about 1 in 9 average to hit the life gain on block, but the nice thing about Fossils is you hit more life modifiers, which means you're hitting life regen, life um life as a prefix right you're also hitting the life on block and there's a second life on block so let's play around with a few fossils and see kind of what happens all right so actually that would be great that's already your life on block with life regen with strength and you have a life roll and you can craft whatever prefix you want not amazing but you know that was like one c worth right wait why do i have aberrant on that's not supposed to be there ignore that okay go again uh, life with life regen, but no life on block. We have life scuffed life on block, so that's not the same as the Shaper mod. Um, nothing here, nothing here. Again, that, that life on block again. We're gonna keep going. Actually, did I just have it there and didn't even see it? No, that's the shitty one. Go again. 
go again. I believe, like I said, it was 1 in 10 average for this, and I'm sure there are many, many, many other ways to go about this. This is kind of just like one way, right, that I wanted to get you guys at least kind of back in PoE if you guys are burnt out because you can't farm your item, and realistically, it doesn't take that much to get like 10 to 20 of these fossils. I forgot plus one summon totem was on here. You could also try harvest reforge, uh, I'm getting scammed here. You could absolutely try like harvest reforge life, but it doesn't have the life more likely. Um, a few other people also suggested using essences. So you basically are gonna use an essence to craft like one modifier that you want. Uh, loathing, for example, gives block chance. The problem with essences is when I did it, it was like literally one in 90 uh, to hit this mod, right? Uh, so like you can see here on this one, we rolled tier one life, life on block, reduced crit damage, and prefix open for probably like armor ES craft, right? This is, this is just something you guys can play around with. It is infinitely cheaper than an Aegis Aurora. Um, of course, it's not going to be as strong as an Aegis Aurora, but it will help a lot where I think most players are dying, where they take massive burst damage to the face and don't really understand what's killing them. Now, the only other thing to talk about here is if you are going with a setup like this, and I could be wrong, I think it may be worth picking up like a replica soul tether, especially if you have regeneration on your shield. You don't necessarily need the regeneration on your belt, although it's very good. The only reason for replica soul tether is because the life gain on block is going to be inferior to like an Aegis Aurora because it's only replenishing your life and not your ES, Corrupted Soul, which you can acquire through Glorious Vanity or Replica Soul Tether, will split the damage from your shield and your life, thus making it when you take 200 energy shield damage, you're taking 100 energy shield damage and 100 life, and then if you block that hit, you're mitigating and recovering part of your life back. So that way your ES is not just like a buffer that goes to zero and then you get hit at your life. You have life as a constant buffer. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the rundown there on uh, the Aegis Aurora uh, variants for what you can do. And then next up, I'm going to go ahead and try to get this done fast for what I'm currently doing. Um, sorry for jumbling both of these videos together. I just haven't really had the time. So I am currently doing a Beyond Atlas strat. Uh, Beyond is one of the best ways for me to level in maps personally i have always really enjoyed it this go around beyond is a little bit more weird and we kind of have to use a sextant for it so this is currently my atlas probably not crazy optimized but it works out really well so i am currently rolling with uh beyond sextant abyss and harby and then this last one i just roll for density so um six packs of corrupted vol good enough for me all right, let's get our Molten Shell on, and what am I missing? My Tempest Shield. I must now, um... My will. Yeah, okay, I, so for this strategy, um, because I don't want to juice content a lot and then feel like I'm not making a lot of returns, uh, I am opting out of using Scarabs, although Scarabs would totally be worth using, right? I'm intentionally not using Scarabs, so we are using Stream of Consciousness instead. Um, and then one other thing I like to do here for some extra density is I just like to throw on a Deli Orb. And then I slap on Abyss. Now these are, these maps are a little thick. You should not be trying to do this stuff unless you are geared for it. Switch my capture there. We do not need to be in display capture for this. Honestly, this method has been paying out for me. Um, 
I think juicing to a level like this is still totally fine. Um, I've gotten... I mean, I haven't really done it very long, but I mean, I've gotten an exalt drop and a divine drop. And I use that as an example of how much shit is dropping in my map. Obviously, I don't have a big enough uh, sample size, but I've been profiting, which is really all that I care about is that I'm not going negative while doing something that I enjoy. Because you always have a chance of getting a lucky drop, especially if you, excuse me, spend a lot of time in your maps. I think there is technically one other thing I might do. I do have like a few fluff points. I may take my fluff points and put them in bestiary. And then just add some extra beasts on the map, but I'm not sure. Not sure if a beast arc nemesis could potentially kill my character or not. Oh my god, the map is so dense. I actually kind of love it. Sometimes I get sick of, like, speed running through my map, so when I get to juice some content like this, I don't know, it feels good. It's really weird, too. Like, last league, I was like, Abyss, absolutely not. I'm blocking that instantly. And this league, I don't know, I feel like doing Abyss all of a sudden. I'm not really sure why. Oh, hey, look, it's the boss. Angel of Death. How you doing, bud? These are pretty tanky considering I just got more damage too. Although, something that's really funny this league, this league I'm leveling to 100 with an item level 4 weapon, so that's pretty cool. Can't say I've ever done that before. Uh, let's go suppression. Well, that'll pretty much summarize this. I don't think I need to clear the whole map for you guys, right? You have a good example of what is going on here. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, if you guys want any content you want me to produce, feel free to put them in the comments below. Uh, of course, anything that is covered on my website slash FAQ, I will not really make content for. Um, but I think, you know, some short clips of me crafting stuff may potentially be here in the near future, although I'll probably just wait till the SSF playthrough, which should be happening when this character is 100. So anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to tune into the live stream where I'm live every day but Mondays. So see you guys later. Have a good one.